All right, welcome to Mac Helpers. We're going to continue on using Pages, and in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to share your document. This is great for instead of having to copy and paste it and move it to a different uh, to your email or anything like that, you can share it directly from the app. So just like just like sharing it uh, a photo in the photo app or even in your emails, the icon looks the same. So we're going to click this button right up here in the top right, the share button. So you can share a link via iCloud. Let's go ahead and click that. And well, this is telling me I can't share it because I have, I have tracking on. So I got to turn off tracking to do that. And like I showed you in the earlier videos, change tracking. Go ahead and turn that off. Accept all changes. And now I can go ahead and share via iCloud. Now this is going to allow me how I want to do it. So mail, copy, Twitter, Facebook, AirDrop, all those natures. Now let's go to. Let's say you just want to send a copy of it. You can, like I said before, you can do the AirDrop. Anybody that has an iDevice or a Mac computer can share it that way. You can mail it. You can use iTunes or you can use another web developer's uh, section. So then the last one is open in another app. So what this is good for is if you didn't want to make, or like you don't want to see the people to be able to make changes on your document, this is where you'd want to use it, send it from. And PDF is a great way to send it to pretty much anybody that has a computer can open up a PDF document. So that's a great way to send something without allowing them to be able to change and edit the content. Let's say you have a student you're collaborating with or a business partner or an associate and you they are only using a PC computer. You can go and uh, send the document as a Word. Sometimes the formatting changes a little bit, but overall if you send it over uh, in a Word doc, a .doc pretty much, Pages is really good at keeping most of that font and most of the formatting together. And EPUB is just the new format for using like, let's say iBooks. And so that's, let's go ahead and try to send it as a PDF. So you can click PDF, it's gonna create it. Then you can either choose the app, you can airdrop it, open an iBooks, and these are all the different apps I can use it with. And so I don't really need to do any of that. So I'm just gonna, I just wanted to show you exactly how to do that, but I'm gonna go and click cancel. And that's basically it for sharing a document. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at info at yourmachelpers.com. Find us on Facebook, Mac Helpers, and just reach out to us and we'll be here to help. Thanks.